Well, it's that day of the week again when we explore and appreciate green ideas and inventions. This is Going Green. Now, records show an average of 20 typhoons hit the country each year. So far, the deadliest typhoon in Philippine history was Uring in 1991 that killed nearly 8,000 people. And the most expensive typhoon was Peping in 2007. That cost the country over 27 billion pesos. Meanwhile, according to the U.S. Geological Survey, some 1.45 million earthquakes shake us every year. That's 4,000 earthquakes a day, would you believe it, all over the world. Even though our country is often battered by storms and prone to landslides, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions, well, we continue to be caught unprepared when natural calamities strike. Now, a powerhouse of eco-designers went on a mission to find the greenest, most sustainable design for a disaster-free home through a competition called DATE, or Design Against the Elements. Just what kind of house do you need to be disaster-proof? Well, we're about to find out. Joining us this morning are architect Amado de Jesus, architect Romulo Nati, the winner of the Date Energy Design category, and Miss Karen Ramos of San Miguel, who will make these designs a reality. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. I was, I was about to say, this is such a timely discussion. I mean, considering there's so much going on in the world, we've got this big earthquake in Christchurch. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, we're expecting some, some heavy flooding uh, come rainy season. What a, what a timely discussion. Uh, design Against the Elements. Uh, what's this all about? Karen? Okay. Um, design Against the Elements. It's a global architectural competition mm -hmm. uh, which aims to provide and build the first green affordable right. and disaster resilient community. Okay. And together with the United Architects of the Philippines, mm -hmm. we have partnered with uh, Ilac Diaz, the mm -hmm. proponent of day, to come mm -hmm. up with such competition. Okay. Uh, why? Why? Uh, well, obviously, just as our intro stated, we seem to be. Li we've lived with disaster all our lives and we do seem to have it in us to be able to prepare ourselves yet we seem to be constantly unprepared and we seem to be constantly building things in a way which doesn't uh, prepare uh, which doesn't uh, prepare them for for disasters uh, why why now why have we finally <laughs> woken up to this architect well that's exactly what the date competition is all about we want to break this this Cycle, so right. you might say. There you go. And as um, um, Ilak uh, Diaz mentioned, mm -hmm. the so far the solutions have been band-aid approaches right. to the problem. Uh -huh. So with this, instead of uh, doing something after the disaster, mm -hmm. the idea is somehow with the designs mm -hmm. coming out of the competition, there will be a, a preventive approach instead right. of just reacting after the typhoon. Right now, architect over here is considered to be, you know, the, the father of green architecture here right. in the Philippines. Um, what are some of the major considerations that you have to take in, well, into consideration when you do build with uh, preventing disasters in mind? And at the same time, you you did mention some very important points also: affordability, you know, sustainability. Yes. It has to be something that that can actually be achieved here in the Philippines given the type of conditions that we have, given the type of economy that we have? What are some of the con major considerations that need to be taken into account? First thing, you don't approach just the proper the structure itself. You start with the site. Okay. Site selection is very important. As you have seen in the past, the, the typhoon that we had, mm -hmm. most homes, villages were located in the wrong place. Right. It was a catch basin for the floods and right. the rain. Right. And so the first thing to consider is the site. Mm -hmm. Then you consider, of course, the structure itself, okay. the, the green features, and of course how the people will react inside. And as I show you, it's very important how the members of the community um, bind together because mm -hmm. of the way it's designed. All right. That's all part of green. Now I wanted to ask uh, architect uh, Romulo over here, it, it's, uh, is, has it always been, uh, obviously architecture is, is, is a passion for, for architects, but you know, green architecture, uh, architecture which uh, is built specifically to, to, to deal with the kind of conditions that we live in today, is that something that, that really drives you? Yes, of course, since mm -hmm. the beginning. Uh, we really think that uh, to be architects, uh, there is a mandatory today and mm -hmm. in today's world to be a green architect. You know? Right. Well, over here, I believe we have some of your designs, your winning design, if, I, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no. Tell us about uh, the, some of the ideas that, that went into this. This so is the winning design. Actually, there are two designs that we will be featuring mm -hmm. here. Uh, the first one is the House of San Miguel, which okay. is um, submitted by um, architect Goldegger from Denmark. I see. The one of architect Nati is the winning design for the energy. For the energy. Yeah. All right. 
Well, tell us about your design, uh, no. architect. Uh, yeah. what, what were some of the yeah, elements you know, that we, were important there? Yes, yes. We, we started from the point that... Well, let's, uh, let's come over here. Yeah, we've, yeah. Got, we've got some drawings. Uh, yeah, yeah. And there's, there must be some, some points that we can uh, you know, talk yes. about. Uh, actually, uh, these uh, these uh, boards are not uh, they are not displaying our design. Right. These, uh, the, the some the photos. Yes, okay. the some photo in the digital format, uh -huh. and maybe later I can explain. But by the way, we started from the point of view that uh, an architecture has to be financial sustainable before to be uh, uh, let's say eco friendly. Because uh -huh. if you have not sustain a financial sustainability, you cannot build the the, the idea you have. So okay. it just remain an idea. So we really uh, base our design on uh, on. Uh, Producing energy, yeah. oh, sorry, producing energy, and in this way, the the, the revenue that will will be uh, created in selling energy to the grid since uh, okay. is uh, is uh, uh, this is uh, I believe this is our got, project. Right, yes, I believe right, we got some right. images from your project over here. What are some of the the, the, the points that you wanted to, to yeah, really yeah. stress? Uh, what, what we would uh, I would like to highlight is uh, the um, capability of uh, our village to mm -hmm. produce That's a big amount good. of energy. Uh, in this way, since in the Philippines you, uh, there, there is the social housing. Problem, but also you have a uh, problem in uh, energy supply. Right. Uh, we wanted to solve uh, two, si two problems in one single project. So mm -hmm. in this way, we massively integrated uh, solar, uh, solar photovoltaic panels, uh, which are uh, becoming very affordable in the market, uh, mm -hmm. to produce uh, a big amount of energy. In this way, we are going to uh, s uh, sell the energy to the grid uh, to get revenue. This revenue will contribute the construction of the entire uh, village. In this okay. way, the construction will be lower. So at the end, uh, the selling price will be lower. To to give uh, houses to the let's say um, I don't want to say poor people, but to everybody. You're right, but but uh, the, the the approach here seems to be you know very large scale rather than taking like you said sort of a band aid solution to a, a large problem. We're really starting from the very beginning. We're designing an entire community, an entire village uh, to, to 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 be more sustainable. Uh, yeah. So much so in the fact that we can actually generate an excess. Of, of energy that you can actually sell back right. and, and, and right. back into the system. Uh, right. You know, because very soon there will be implemented implemented in the Philippines a law of uh, net metering. Mm -hmm. It means that if uh, your house will produce energy, mm -hmm. you can use your energy, but you can sell the energy to the grid. At the end, you can buy the energy uh, to the grid because, for example, in the case of uh, photovoltaic panels, we mm -hmm. can produce energy during n daytime, not right. in the night time. But if you, uh, so that, that amount of energy can be sold, uh, let's say, to factories, to the grid, that they will distribute the energy. Mm -hmm. And then in the night, you can buy energy to the grid. It, at the end of the day, your bill will be you know, a, a, a computation between what you sold and what you buy. All right, good stuff. Well, we've, we've seen, uh, we're looking at some of the images of yep. your project over there, but we've also got some images uh, over here uh, of the House of San Miguel, which we briefly already touched on. Yes. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that, Karen? So, Architect Amado will be explaining the right. features of the House of San Miguel. Okay, the, uh, um, the winter office, uh, the uh, architect Guldager from Denmark, mm -hmm. approached this in uh, three ways, starting with the site. Right. A uh, very uh, sensitive design approach to how they handle the site. Mm -hmm. so they studied the slope so that they could collect the water in this uh, lowest portion of the site. Their, their approach was to handle water very well. The drainage system was very sophisticated. And then the next thing was the housing project, mm -hmm. which is um, a lot of um, built in clusters. Right. And finally, of course, the the um, community organization, mm -hmm. which is all affected because of the way the entire area was designed. All right. If I may add, Paolo, the approach here is holistic, meaning mm -hmm. to say yes. that we will not just be uh, giving house design, but we will be creating a community, a okay. sense of belongingness. Yes. Right. Uh, even I with uh, architect uh, Romulus' uh, design, it seemed to, to take yes. into consideration really uh, the, the, the whole community and how, the, how the, the everybody yes. was synergized with each other to, to, to promote uh, a much greener and much more sustainable And, and to help each, each other in the mm -hmm. community. I think yes. The community mm -hmm. education program is another facet of this mm -hmm. uh, design wherein mm -hmm. people will be uh, trained on how to mitigate the, the disaster. All right. I just want to jump